tied with the Toledo Rockets. Then the Bobcats dropped one to Akron. 91-83 was the final on Friday. The Zips shot 63% from the field. Up top, Matisse Kulachkovskis guarded by Ben Vanderplas. To the corner, Plowden. He's got one-on-one -on -one with Carter. Gets in the lane, floats it up and in. Daquan Plowden coming in, averaging 15 and a half points per game. He's top 10 in the MAC in scoring. You want to see Plowden get started off quick like that. Didn't have a quick start to the last game against the Broncos. No, it was actually one of his toughest shooting performances of the season. Held to just six points on two of 14 shooting. He was 0 of 6 from beyond the arc. Speaking of beyond the arc, there's Ben Vanderplas. 56 threes on the season now. Yeah, he no hesitation on that one from deep. Got a little mustache power today. <laughs> Liking it. You like the flow, you like the mustache. You're a big fan of BVP. I am. He's got that old, old school game. Nothing but the bottom for Samari Curtis from the left wing. 34% beyond the arc this season for Samari Curtis. Minute gone by to the corner. Sears puts it in the hands of Carter. He's got Kulachkovskis in front of him. And poked out of bounds. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Matisse did a good job of moving his feet, not allowing Carter to get an angle on him on that drive. Watching the game's already starting a little physical. You see the screens, a little holding. Guys are they're getting after it right now. Both teams, something to play for. Well, the first meeting at the Convocation Center was a battle. The Bobcats ended up coming out on top by seven in that game. As they close quickly there on Trey Diggs. Deep three, Samari Curtis. <laughs> Make a little noise early, and Ohio head coach Jeff Bowles is not happy. No, not happy at all. So we got to get a hand in, kind of they're relaxing a little bit. Curtis, not a guy that you're going to go out and 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 do a hard closeout to. He's not been the, the most potent scorer, but still, no hand in his face. He's got the green light right now. Apparently, nothing to lose for the Falcons. They have to get a W, so they got to come out here and put it all on the line. And Jeff Bowles. Good reason to be set up. You shouldn't, uh, good reason to be upset, I should say. You shouldn't have to, light a, have to light a fire under your team when you're coming down to the final couple of games of the regular season trying to get momentum for the MAC tournament. Yeah, you want to come in and, and set the tone early if you're Ohio, but I mean, to start off, they've, both teams, I don't know, this looked pretty comfortable. I like the flow of this game so far, Brad. This is, this is late season, late MAC season hoops right here. And this start for Samari Curtis, not a surprise. He's been getting his over the last four games, averaging 17 points. Carter works his way down to the low block. The hook, back rim, rebounded by Kulach Kulskis as he held his ground. Yeah, did a good job. Just, just kept moving, stayed, stayed with a strong foundation. And able to get Vanderplas in the air. Trey Diggs right about the free throw line. 10-3 Bowling Green. Sears gets in the lane. Good defense on him. Mills got a hand in there. A three here could make this a double-digit Bowling Green lead. Plowden thinks so. He's got it. Oh, it's nothing to lose. Bowling Green is three of three beyond the arc. Sears up top, Vanderplas. Oh. Vanderplas. Had the Bobcats' first three of the game, and this one he takes it in and lays it in. Yeah, good decision. He had he had the open, could have taken an open shot, but what? If you have a full lane, just drive it down. And that's what he did. The score should be 13-5. They are working on getting that corrected right now. Three minutes gone by. Curtis got Miles Brown right up on him, and Bannerplas slapped it free. Carter picks it up, trying to pick it up. Able to keep it in bounds. Now the cut, Roderick blocked. Cross court pass, Diggs to Mills. Ohio player on the bench kind of had his hand in Mills' face. Little gamesmanship. <laughs> yeah, he didn't expect the ball being swung like that. I'm surprised the ref didn't say something. And Carter hit on the arm as he tried to attack. That's a good no call. That's a good no call. That was just a basketball play. And, Brent, I want to go to a point you made a moment ago about 
having a hand up there from the bench, maybe disrupting Mills a little bit. These days you're seeing a lot more where guys will clap in between free throws, and refs have taken note of that. Yeah, definitely. You can't you can't be doing that. I mean, it's so obvious that it, that it happens. And give the refs credit for, for stopping it when it does. Shenanigans. <laughs> Schmack from the left wing. He's been hot. Not there. It's Curtis. Wants the screen. He pulls up from the elbow. It's Cam Young trying to pull in the offensive rebound. Couldn't get it over Sears. Sears may not be the biggest guy, but he's got some build. Vanderplas. He's keeping the Bobcats in it. Yeah, he's, I mean, big veteran on this team. He's going to stay cool and collective throughout this whole ball game. You saw him pick the defense up. He's, he's pointing at guys, telling them where to go. Vanderplas had just six points in the first meeting on one of seven shooting. It's Plowden getting baseline. Ran what right into Vanderplas by five with almost five minutes into this ball game. You see the Falcons lead the all-time series 82 to 68. The Bobcats won the last one back on January 11th down in Athens. But as noted, the Falcons have won the last three at home against Ohio. As Trey Diggs had space there, defender went down. This is Tommy Schmack handling the basketball. Schmack started his career at the University of Finley. Been a great addition to the Bobcats with his outside shooting. And Ben Vanderplas makes it a one possession game. He's got all 11. Mills out to Diggs. Hand in his face off the mark. Long rebound. Schmack gets on the floor. Bowling Green able to get back. Ohio averages 74 points a game. That's not outstanding as far as offense goes, but their defense has been outstanding, only allowing 67 points a game. Yeah, and you can see the way they put pressure the, and, and they, they talk. They are talking on every screen, pointing each other in the right direction. Sears in the lane, contact. Yeah, that's too deep for him to get. He gets in there around that Mac emblem. He's tough to guard. He's going to draw a foul or get the bucket. Mark Sears, a 90% free throw shooter. That is 10th in the country. 165 attempts. That is second most in the MAC behind Ball State's Peyton Sparks. Rattling in the second. Curtis working up the floor against Schmack. It's Diggs. Looking for room up top. Now Cam Young gets by Vanderplas. Goes to the basket. Is blocked. Ohio looking for their first lead. Vanderplas trying to give it to him. Bowling Green, 5 of 10 from the field. Curtis finds Fulcher underneath for an in one. Good job of running by Josiah Fulcher. Sprinting down the floor. Got behind the defense. He's got a chance for a three-point play. Samari Curtis just coming out here like a, like a veteran now. He looks like he's... Uh, He's looking super confident today. A different look about him. First year Falcon Samari Curtis after coming over from Evansville where he averaged 10 points a game. Again, in that different role, being the point guard this season was not expected of him. Due to the injury to Caden Matheny. And Curtis has it. He's got it in the open floor pushing. And Turner will give it right back. A contested look. And we get a foul called against Samari Curtis. 
see it again. He's after a shot. So he pulled him down. Maybe it was the, the leg kick. Actually, I think it was right here on the loose ball. As he gets up. Owen Green by a field goal. Sears drives left side out to the corner. That's a great look for Schmack. Still can't connect. He's had looks. Hasn't knocked him down. Samari Curtis to set it up. The Bobcats eight and four on the road this season, but just two and two in their last four. It's Plowden on the pump fake. Two defenders there. Fulcher tries a three, rattling it in. A rare three for Josiah Fulcher, just his 15th of the season. Doesn't take a lot of them. No, it's a good kick out too. Plowden got that shot fake. Was able to bring the, the help side defender over. And Tom Fulcher to the corner. Roderick, backside battle for the board. Good effort there by A.J. Clayton, and it leads to a three for Mark Sears, second chance points. Yep, that's where you, you get hammered by those second chance points, just a long rebound. Got to know where the shooters are. Turner up top, has Clayton on him. Loose basketball, Sears able to pick it up. He's going to try and take it all the way. Well, it's not just how you start, you got to finish, and they've, they've had a tough time finishing. I mean, you're missing two guys in Myron Gordon and Joe Reese, who were both double-figure scorers. You knew that part was going to be an adjustment. And Bowling Green just trying to move forward. Eight minutes into this ball game. Falcons by one and with the basketball. It's over to Chandler Turner. Now Plowden one-on-one -on -one with Carter. Faces up. Roderick comes over. And throw into the backcourt. And out of bounds. Ohio got what they wanted there. They got the trap, able to get the outlet takeaway up top. Yeah, good trap and the, the denial up top. No other Falcons coming to help out. Fountain had nowhere to pass it to. You had three guys on the weak side standing around looking. Sears into Roderick. Now Carter against Turner going to work. His bounce pass right at the ankles of Clayton. And Carter blocked. That was a big time block by Plowden. Yeah, I saw Plowden sitting there licking his chops. Saying that's, that's a free meal. About to eat. Schmack, he'll shoot it from there. And he lets it go. Rims out. Had at least four looks. Fulcher off the switch has Carter. Nearly lost his footing. It's out to Turner. Plowden's going to line it up. And Bowling Green, that's already nine threes attempted. Yeah, not a habit you want to get into. Those first ones were kind of in, in rhythm, in transition. Plowden's feet weren't set on that. He was leaning to the left. There's that foul going the other way. Got him up around the shoulder. And yeah, Fulcher knew you can't reach around the back like that. You're going to get a call most of the time. It's Roderick out there with Schmack, Carter, Brown, and Vanderplas. Sears will get a rest. Here's Brown who was out the first game. And Miles Brown, well short on the three, did not look like a clean release. Averages almost seven points a game. Falcons got to look inside. Kulachkovskis was looking for it, and Mills just floats it up. It was not a great look, but the Falcons will take it. A little hop, skip, and a jump by Mills. Just got it over the hand of the defender. Ohio fans wanted to walk. Mills had his season high against Ohio. Had 13 points. 
Bobcats trying to move it quickly. Now Carter against Kulachkovskis. Roderick, the cut and the finish. That's good chemistry between those two. Yeah, good cutting, cutting away from the ball by Roderick. Worked over to Fulcher. And Mills turns. Would not drop. Battle for the board. Mills gets it good out. Good hustle by Mills. Fresh 20. Fulcher down the lane. Carter up ahead. Schmack behind the back to Vanderplas, and he's fouled from behind by Young. For Cam Young, that'll be his first. Plus, first attempt is good on the season 73 percent this guy is a double figure score at almost 14 a game that's seventh in the conference shoots it at 33 percent beyond the arc leads the team in steals with 54. he's got a, i mean it's it's an all it's an all mac mustache for <laughs> vanderplas right now i gotta give him some props he had first a team he had a triple double a week ago against Central Michigan, 10 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. And able to get the defender in the air, then Cam Young hit on the arm. Yeah, Vanderplas brings it all. I, I, like I said, he might be my favorite player in the MAC past couple of years. But a good move by Cam Young. And you see Vanderplas getting his hands. Got a call for the foul, but his hands are always moving. This is the fifth game back for Cam Young after missing a month due to injury. He's been playing about 12 minutes a game since coming back. And that first free throw was just his 13th attempt of the season. He's now 10 of 13. He played in all 26 games as a freshman. Interested to see what his summer is like. Putting out a little bit more weight, continue to stay in the weight room, and just getting back to being comfortable being healthy yeah because he's a guy you want on the floor he's an active guy both ends of the floor he's always always in passing lanes always causing trouble look at him reaching in just right on cue like that and cam young all the way contact and the, offensive and, foul oh. have to see this one again to see if vanderplas got set and was he in the circle He was still moving there. Yeah, he shuffled on over. That was a that was a veteran. Give the old veteran a call there because Cam Young did put his shoulder down a little bit too, so you got to give give that to him. For Bowling Green, that was their fifth team foul. The Bobcats have just two, with eight and a half remaining in the first half. Roderick, no. Gulachkovskis lost it. Miles Brown never had a handle on it. Falcons trying to go fast. Mills recognizes. Slowing everything down. Clouding the catch. Carter right up on him. Active hands. Kulach Coves gets forced it up and got it in. Schmack off the high screen. Vanderplas. Good look to Roderick. Great recognition on the opening. You had two Falcons diving down defensively. Definitely, definitely got, got plowing up in the air a little bit. Had Roderick sitting, didn't force it, didn't force the, the shot after that little fake. Fulcher fouled. Oh. 24-23, Bobcats. A slash on the Falcons. Vanderplas. 
Doing it with his outside shooting early. He continues to lead the Bobcats. Also distributing. Here's a nice lay-in on the open drive. Finger roll. Well, what was a fast start for the Bowling Green Falcons has turned into a back and forth game. Brent, both teams trying to get up and down the floor. Yeah, back and forth and physical. There's not, not, not been a, uh, any plays where teams are taking a play off. A lot of bumping, a lot of hands going. Mills drives. That little hesitation blew the layup. Sears out to Vanderplas. Always keeping his eyes open, finds Brown this time. Sears out to Vanderplas. You give him more chances, they're going to make you pay. Yeah, that ball almost hit the rafters. Vanderplas with the high arcer. Feeling it right now. That's six first half threes for the Bobcats. They average nine a game. 15 for Vanderplas. And Vanderplas already above his season average. Pass inside. Curtis, nice find to Kulachkovskis with his offhand. Yeah, with that left hand, that's that's not easy to do. Swung it over. That's why you wear the sleeve, Brent. Get that little <laughs> extra. A little extra, on it. little extra slingshot. Screen from Vanderplas. Sears. Brown, one on one with Diggs. Nice Ooh. slip, no look to Carter. Had position, goes up strong. Jason Carter led the Bobcats with 22 in the first meeting. He's at the 20 point mark three times. He's been a little quiet so far. That was just his first points of the game. Momentary pause in the action as the basketball found its way into the stands. It's a souvenir you do not get to keep. Not here. Unless you're fast. <laughs> Kulachkovskis. Fade away. Turn around. That's a nice yeah. move. A la Dirk Nowitzki there. Played his first game ever in front of his parents here at home. At nine points, six rebounds. Mom and dad, Victors and Gita, back in attendance here tonight. You're liking what they see so far. It'll be Bobcats ball out on the baseline. And Schmack in for Brown. So that take one more time. Swiped away there by Diggs. Time winding down to the corner, Carter. Roderick. And Diggs on the backside, couldn't pull it in, but it's off of Sears last. Almost a tough break for the Falcons there. Sears not quitting on the play. I mean, you see the way they painted all the corners on that possession. Top of the key to both corners, just really moving it around. Well, as much credit as Sears gets for his offense, he does average five and a half rebounds a game and better than four assists a game. He's second in the conference in minutes, fifth in steals. Kulachkovskis, couple moves, is blocked by Carter. I'd like to see him go up to the left hand right there. Vanderplas in transition. Bowling Green, another chance to tie or take the lead. As we near the four-minute mark. Gulachkovskis in and out. It was a good look. Bowling Green now four of ten beyond the arc after starting three of four. Sears pulls up just inside the free throw line. Curtis will step back. Final few minutes. But just Ohio's been doing such a good job of moving the ball and getting, getting good looks, making that extra pass to get a good look. Falcons are just going to have to keep pressuring them, keep 
keep them out of the lane. Looks like they're doing it with a little 2-3 zone right here, a little switch up after the timeout. And Schmack's going to try a deep three. Sears fighting inside. He'll shoot two, almost had an and one. For his size, he has a nose for the basketball. He, he is just, as you said before the game, fearless. Yeah, he, he reminds me of Jalen Brunson. Ooh, I like that, the former you know, Villanova nice little, Wildcat. Yeah, yeah, just, just in there, just hands always going. Jalen Brunson is a guy that has continued to earn his minutes and turn into a solid guard in the NBA. Had, had a chance to really watch him when he was with the Dallas Mavericks. He's still with the Mavericks? Not sure. These days it's tough to keep track. I know the Mavs made a couple of moves lately. You have to get IT on that. <laughs> And yes, he still is with the Mavs. And Luca. Chandler Turner, great hands by Sears. And Sears tried the Euro step. Diggs got a hand in there, and then Sears commits the foul. That's going to be his first. The Euro step right in, right into Diggs. Watch the way he loses this on this Euro step. He's kind of pushed off with the offhand, then lost it with his right hand. Samari so Curtis to set it up. Less than three to play first half. Bowling Green just under 50% from the field. Four of 11 beyond the arc. Falcons do have seven first half turnovers, almost number eight right there. With time winding down, Plowden, turnaround, hook. Bowling Green needed it. This little Kevin Willis style jump hook. What you know about him, Brad? You might be too young for that. Not too young. <laughs> I believe I watched him in his Houston Rocket days. That's Otis Thorpe, thinking of Atlanta Hawks. Maybe he's on. We're, we're going to check it. We're going to check, check that, that. Too. Vanderplas, the spin. Diggs came over. Good, strong finish by Vanderplas. He's got 17. Yeah, good ball control. Vanderplas looks like he added some muscle this year. Strength. Yeah. Too much strength for Chandler Turner on that three. Yeah, unable to draw iron, and then Sears full speed right at Mills, reaches in to slow him up. <laughs> and Carter is going to check back in. Fulcher in for the Falcons. And yes, Kevin Willis did play for the Houston Rockets for two seasons, mid-90s. Okay. Come on, man. Hey. You and I can go NBA all day. <laughs> you can play in it. I can talk about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't play in it. Guarantee that. May have one dunk left, Brad, but it's not going to be in the NBA. Hey, it might have won it in this year's slam dunk contest. <laughs> didn't even watch it this year for the first time in years. You didn't miss much. Needs Zach Levine back in it. Somewhere Aaron Gordon was smiling, saying, I could have won this one. get the superstars back into it and make it interesting. There's an argument making for the three-point contest to be the last contest instead of the dunk contest. This is so tough with all the crazy dunks that people are doing on YouTube and TikTok. How about a George, how about a Mike and Drill contest? <laughs> and Schmack couldn't keep his footing. See this here as he juggled it. Yep. Down to a minute remaining in the first half. Bobcats by six. And Curtis was looking for Fulcher. Sears got out there to get in the passing lane. He's done that a few times tonight, and that's led to now nine Bowling Green turnovers. 
Yeah, this Ohio defense is just relentless in their pressure. Out in the passing lanes, pressuring the ball, showing on showing on every screen. I think you got to see more back doors. That's what you have to do when that pressure comes. Spread them out, out cut them. Diggs trying to get around Vanderplas. It's great effort. Bobcats have 15 seconds to work with. And a low scoring first half, 35-29. This is, this is how the Bobcats play. Just keep grinding. Might actually benefit Bowling Green not trying to get up and down and outshoot their opponent. Big two-hand block from Daquan. With pressuring and not allowing easy cuts. You know, you, you're cutting across the lane, you're getting bumped. Ohio extending their defense as Turner brings it up. Able to get it across the timeline. Less than 15 for Samari Curtis. Looking to get by Carter, tough to do. Throws it up and in. Nice finish. He was looking for an and Ooh. one. And oh. then Schmack goes right into Turner. Bowling Green basketball with 1.8. Falcons no. can get one more yeah, bucket nice here. Nice way to end the first half here. They can get. Look at this take by Curtis. Forced his way right into the body of Curtis. Got it over him and off glass. And then Schmack ran right into Chandler Turner. Turner to inbound. Fulcher will launch. Oh. Ball State shooting just 24% from the field on their home floor. Yikes. Daquan Plowden playing in what looks to be his final game inside the Stroh Center. You see where he ranks all time. Number one in career games. And he's top 10 in points, top five in rebounds. And with his couple blocks tonight, now up to 122 in his career. Fourth all-time in that department. Do you know who leads all-time in block shots, right? Uh, Cornelius Cash, perhaps? Rashawn Holmes. Oh, oh, duh, yeah. What am I thinking? The opening minute of the second half, stolen by Plowden. Falcons have numbers. Going to go at Vanderplus, and it's an offensive foul. Cornelius Cash. Kicking myself. <laughs> oh, that's for, oh, that's for Sean Holmes. See this again, Brent. Off the steal. Hands. Vanderplas waited a while here as Plowden hung up in the air for a long time. Kept his feet outside the circle. Another crafty thing Vanderplas does. That's a second charge he's drawn tonight. His first few minutes going to be big. Bobcats will try to extend their lead. It rims out for Vanderplas. That's just his third miss of the night. He's six of nine from the field. Back in the hands of Curtis. You watch Koskis. And Curtis looks. Ten for Plowden. Behind the back. Blocked by Carter. He was all over it. Diggs picks it up, finds an open Brenton Mills. Bodies all over the place. Sears to the trailing Brown. Cross court wide open Ben Vanderplas. He just put it up and let it drop. The bench loved it. Brown once again just probing in and Ohio making the extra pass. That's five threes for Ben Vanderplas. Diggs trying a three. No. Kulachkowski's offensive rebound hit on the way up. So there's an example right there. Diggs could have just got a little shot fake. Sears, I think it was Sears coming out on him. Came out so hard, no closeout. Just jumped out on him. Just give him a little shot fake. Trey, take a dribble. Get your composure and pull up. And Diggs has yet to hit from distance tonight. Two points in the ball game. And Kulach Kovskis connects on the first. He's now 16 of 19 at the line. Guy that came back November 28th, making his 
11th career start tonight. Started the last nine. Had a career high 17 points against Ball State. He goes two of two at the line. Two possession game. Good job there, Plowden jumping out high. Step back, Sears. You'll take that look if you're Bowling Green. Dig off the feed from Curtis. That's yeah. great offense. That's that's a great. That's a that's more like it for Trey Diggs. He had his feet in one two step. Pulled straight up. His jump was straight up in the air. It wasn't fading. Before that three, Bowling Green was one for their last 11 Look at beyond the arc. And now Diggs saving it off of Carter. Good hustle by Trey Diggs. Heads up to throw it off. The I'm effort has been their, there. Yeah, for both they, teams. They, they, they're keeping up. They're keeping their energy up. Curtis, out to Mills. It's Curtis for three, short. Plowden trying to tip it to himself, he does. Now he's going right at Sears, has the mismatch. Vanderplas comes over for the block. Oh, I thought he hesitated, did a little double pump. Thought he should have just went right up with it. Brown hangs, rolls off. Sears in there for another board. And the tie-up, Jeff Bowles thought Sears was being held on the arm. And I think he might have had a case there, but the official saw it differently. Yeah, Dix had both hands on it. looked like to start off. Tough from that, that angle. Diggs trying to create a little space with Carter. Step back. That's a long two. We're tied at 38. Trey Diggs heating up. He now has seven in the ballgame. Well, you want to see that for the Falcons. Let's see how much more aggressive he is with that little jab step, trying to create some room, a little fadeaway. Carter worked around the perimeter. Sears up top, straight away. Bobcats have had a few rim out. Now Bowling Green can take the lead. What Underneath Curtis to Kulachkovsk as he hangs and scores. Curtis creating more offense, his fourth assist of the night. And that's not the first time that Kulachkovsk has been the recipient. Oh, no, and a nice finish. The hard pass. Falcons taking the lead. And the Falcon faithful Picking making up their some defense. noise. Two of the veterans going at each other, Plowden and Vanderplas. They're trying to keep the ball out of the hands of Curtis. Tommy Schmack is going to check in next whistle. Like they're trying to get Trey Diggs the ball. He's being blanketed by Sears. And Curtis creates his own shot. Ah, had all that, all that movement. Settled on that possession. Yeah, he could have got that shot at any point. And there's Ben Vanderplas pulled the trigger on the trail. Mills full steam the other way. Got Curtis with eight, Diggs with seven. And Plowden on the bench for the moment. Curtis fakes the pass, trying to go off the window, and it drops. Well, that's more like it for Curtis. Settle, settle for those quick threes, just taking it to the bucket. Ten for Curtis. Double figures for the 10th time this season. Vanderplas stopped there on the baseline. Carter, big man showing the moves. Ohio's having a tough time finding the rim, 28% from the field right now. Luckily, their defense is tough. 
See if the Bobcats can take advantage of Bowling Green's 11th turnover. Bobcats have nine turnovers of their own. Sears the spin. Back to a two-point game. Great touch. That's one way to do it. Sears getting into the lane. He's coming off 20 points. And that loss to Akron. To the corner, Cam Young. And Cam Young has continued to look for his threes more and more since he's returned. He's not afraid of taking them. He's hit seven on the season now. Got in a little foul trouble in the first half where he was playing well, but and Curtis went and got that one, then was fouled by Sears. For Sears, his second. Foul trouble has not been a concern for either team tonight. As Brown is going to get Roderick and Fulcher is going to check in. Fulcher in that first half, you look at his production. Almost nine minutes of action, six points, pair of rebounds, and a steal. Turner one-on-one, -on -one. Diggs wants it. And right there, easy call. Brown had his arm draped all over. Yeah, he ripped his elbow off. He's setting him up for that fadeaway. And here's the thing right there, Brent. Is that a shot that Diggs can hit? Yes. But is that a high percentage look? No. I don't think you need the reach in there if you're Brown. Just get a hand up. Yeah, but that, that's kind of the... What he was looking for on the post, just kind of wanted to create a little bit of space. And First is good for Trey Diggs, a 88% free throw shooter. He's four threes shy of tying Shane Comines for seventh on the Bowling Green all-time list. Lefty. Shane Comimes, the assistant for Central Catholic Boys Basketball in Toledo under John Floyd. Mike Floyd, excuse Mike me. Mike Floyd, yeah. John Floyd, former Falcon. Almost tipped in. That should be Bowling Green basketball. It is. Talk about a funny connection between the Bobcats and the Falcons. You got former point guard from the past couple years, Jason Preston, out at with the Clippers, he hasn't played all year with an injury, but assistant coach for the Clippers, Bowling Green's Jay Laranega, who can hit a few threes in his career. And Samari Curtis, looking for the pretty finish, was fouled. Yeah, I'm like, I'm be interested to see how kind of career Preston has out there. He actually made a return to Athens, I believe, last week. Make a visit with the team, see how things are going with the guys. I mean, he wasn't there long, made the most of it, and he helped lead the Bobcats to last year's Mid-American Conference Tournament Championship. Defeated Buffalo in the final. Yeah, and had a nice run, and all year was one of the really fun players to watch in the MAC. Now he's out there with, he's not out there with Vander Plus and Sears, he's out there with Kawhi and Paul George and the rest of the crew out there, Chase Riders, all those guys. McClaw and PG-13. Not sure how things are going to play out for the Clippers going forward. Been a little tough with their injuries they've dealt with. Just over 12 minutes remaining in the ball game. It's over to Sears. Working against Fulcher. Out top, Carter. And Vanderplas, Sears saves it. Sears going to pull up. Another offensive rebound. Vanderplas throws it up wildly. <laughs> 22 for Vanderplas. Well, if you can't get a regular shot to go in, try a little circus one. Maybe that'll break the streak. The Bobcats have needed a bucket for the past four or five possessions. And, and that's an area where they have dominated. Second chance points. Fulcher underneath, nowhere to go. Turner in the lane. Right hand, no, follows it. Way to stick with it. Way to not settle for that 
first initial look. Falcons are down the turn, getting his own. Padding the stats with the offensive rebound. I gotta give a shout out to the refs. They're really, these are the kind of games I like. You gotta let them play. This is, this is a Mac here. Can't uh, take any game for granted in the Mac. The Broncos won by 11 on Saturday night. Bowling Green was held under 70 points for the second consecutive game. They've been held under 75 times this season. Here's Cam Young looking for an open teammate. Finds Fulcher, who's out there with Curtis, Diggs, Turner. Inside, and Cam Young is fouled. Right now you've got Daquan Plowden not on the bench, but in the corner on the bike, trying to stay loose. Yeah. A couple miles in. Cam Young, 10 of 12 at the free throw line, entering tonight. And the first is good. Cam Young saw about seven minutes of action in the first half. Went scoreless, pulled in a board, giving the Falcons more offense in this second half, and it started with this three from the corner. One for two. Up top, Schmack. Sears, always so patient, never rushed. Here he finds space, defense went away. Azuma, the offensive rebound, tangled up with Cam Young. And I like Cam Young being physical, but Brent, that's a little different weight class right there between those two. <laughs> yeah, that might be uh, might be curtains that gets into a gets into a tussle. Zuma 6'8, 240. Cam Young 6'7, 210. 30 pounds. Can you make up for that? In wiriness? I don't know. Vanderplas got Diggs in the air, goes that. right yeah. to the cup. Good shot fake. Diggs, you got to stay down on that one. He's not going to take you off the dribble if you just stay, stay disciplined with a good closeout. Curtis bounce pass off the knee of Plowden. Falcons, got to be careful. Chance to cut in this deficit a little bit more. Schmack inside of Zuma. Five-point game. He was looking for an and one. I.J. Azuma. Freshman from Raleigh, North Carolina. Into the hands of Brenton Mills. Right back to Chandler Turner. Turner's one-on-one -on -one with Vanderplas. Who's going to create here for Bowling Green with Curtis on the bench? Digs a little separation. Big three. Eight-point game. 12 now for Diggs. Bowling Green's 6-3. No, their 7-3 of the game. Schmack, can he answer? No. And Vanderplas fouled on the back side. Lobbed into Sears. 13 points on the night. 10 rebounds for Sears. Double-double. Underneath, wouldn't roll over for Zuma. Then he goes over the back of Kulachkovskis. He wasn't happy about the call, but Brent, he tried to make up for the miss. Yep, it's one of those, uh, you get frustrated after missing a shot like that, and you just want to get that ball back. Bobcats just tough, tough second half shooting-wise. 30% right now. 30% for the game. The game. I'm trying to find the second half stats because it has not been pretty. Falcons now 9 of 12 at the line after the first for Kulachkovskis. He's in double figures with 11. Diggs, Kulachkovskis, and Curtis all in double figures. Yeah, 5 of 20 in the second half, 1 of 10 from 3. Ooh. 
to the Bobcats. Numbers say it all. After a four point halftime lead. And the shot clock started before that ball was touched. Getting a lot of extra timeouts here in the last few minutes. Michael Huger having fun with Ben Banderplass. Asking him if he puts anything in that mustache or if it's all natural. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, they've been both with their programs for about the same amount of time, right? Michael Huger, <laughs> seven seasons. Right. Ben Banderplass, this is what, season number five? And Sears blocked. Loudon double them both up. <laughs> Mustache would have suited Huger nice back in the day with his, his high top fade he had back in the 90s. His Reebok pumps he was wearing. Watched a few of his highlights the other day, the way he was just able to explode off the ground. Another shot that won't drop. Carter offensive glass denied by Plowden. Schmack in the corner, and he finally gets one to go. Schmack finally at the right time. Finally at his first shot, 0 for 6 from 3 before that shot. That was the 29th 3 attempted by Ohio tonight. They've now knocked down 8. Over under 36 attempts before the night is done for the Bobcats from 3. I say over. Fade away, Kulachkovskis. Nice touch. Bowling Green keeping the Bobcats at bay. It's Carter driving. Good defense. Over to Plowden. Take on Plowden. He's in double figures with 10. Falcons have a 12 point lead. This is getting a little dangerous for the Bobcats who, as we noted coming in, hold their opponents to 67 a game. They gave up 91 to Akron last time out. Coming off that game in which he had just six points, he's picking up his offense at the right time. One for two. Lead is 13. Painter Ploss poked away from behind, trying to gather it in the paint. Finds the hands of Carter, who puts it home. Robbed into Fulcher. Now Mills to set it up. Diggs. Quick possession for Bowling Green. That's going to benefit Ohio if shots don't fall. Sears trying to attack Diggs. Hangs. Wow, what a take. That was a nice take. Ripped it over from the right over to the left and just hung in the air. Nice finish by Sears. Bobcats get it down to a single digit deficit with less than six to play. Sears and Vanderplas, the only two guys really giving the Bobcats anything on offense. Lachkowskis was surrounded inside. Schmack stopped at the free throw line, out to Roderick. The Bobcats on a 7-0 run. And Bowling Green may take a timeout here. Michael Huger telling Diggs to come his way. And now he's just going to have to call the timeout. Five situations at the end of games where they've fumbled it around. I want to see how they respond here. You've got to trust in one another. Can't have one-on-one. -on -one. Definitely. Worked over to Mills. Back up top, Fulcher. Don't want to take too much time here. 
Spolcher against Vanderplas. No. Bobcats can make this a two possession game. Schmack for three. Sears, another offensive rebound, saves it to Carter, adding to his double double. Roderick left wing, three point game. The run continues. We're talking about somebody else needing to step up for Ohio. Roderick's been the guy finding ways to just get open, waiting for Sears or Schmack to find him. He just joined Sears and Vanderplas in double figures. You know. Mills out of bounds. He just ran into a wall. And look at this Ohio bench. Get a shot of those guys. I and mean, they're still into it. That whole team is, is up and at it, cheering their teammates on. Fans are on their feet behind them. Sears bringing it up the floor. 15 points tonight. Screen from Roderick. Trying to recover, unable to. Carter a layup. 12-0 run. See if Bowling Green can get inside. Plowden put it on the floor. Jump stop. Carter bodying him up. And Plowden is fouled. Carter went for the block. Daquan Plowden just was not going to let anyone else do anything here. He was going to attack. He was not going to be stopped. And he's going to shoot two after this media timeout. Bowling Green had their largest lead of the game at 13. Ohio has nearly erased that. Roderick hit the three there, then goes to the left wing, connects on another. The bench loving it. Schmack finding Carter as Gulachkowskis tried to recover after jumping out high. That made it a one-point game. And it's Bowling Green at the free throw line with Daquan Plowden as we welcome you back. Falcons tonight, 11 of 15 at the free throw line. And this is one of the guys that, down the stretch, who you want at the line. Yeah, definitely. Loudon, he's the guy who can get to it. And he's not settling for a, for a jumper. And in that last possession, he was not settling. Just shy of 80% for the season. No problem on the first. Trying to make it a three-point game. Now the Falcons need a stop. Carter inside. Vanderplas got position. Curtis got a hand in there to not make it easy. Now Carter off balance walked. He's looking for a push call and he's teed up. And now he's double tee. He is done. Jason Carter let his emotions get the best of him there. And Jeff Bowles is arguing that a blocking call, but call or not, Jason Carter right now, you don't need that. No, definitely not. You're trying to claw back into this one. Let your emotions take you out. If this is still a double-digit lead for Bowling Green, I might see the double tech and the frustration mount a little bit more, but you're in this game. Now Bowling Green's got to take advantage of the freebies and open this lead up even more. Yeah, I mean, it'd be one thing if, if this wasn't how it was being called all game. I mean, it's been a physical game. 100%. For each minute of this ball game, Coach Bowles still pleading the case over there. He was fired up. Here's the situation again. Carter. And see, I didn't see a push there. Where's the push? He, he bounced off the turn. Yeah. 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 I mean, there is no reason Carter should be arguing there. If there's something... He's arguing from a few plays before, maybe, but not there. He's still trying to plead his case, but his night is done. Double T for Jason Carter. He's going to hear it from the Bowling Green crowd. A little Hulk Kogan.
Jason Carter to the locker room. Now we'll see how Ohio responds from this. Still got one more here for Plowden on the double tech. Can make it a six point game. Makes three out of four. Loudon is now the team leader in points tonight. Just above his season average of 15 a game. Big possession right here, Brent. Under four to play. Trying to extend the lead a little more. Run a little clock. Pass it around a little bit. No quick shots. Smaller lineup now for the Bobcats with Carter out. Sears, Schmack. Roderick, Brown, and Vanderplas. The catch by Plowden. He's got Kulachkovskis, the spin. It drops, eight point game. 16 for Kulachkovskis. What a spin move by Matisse. He's one shy of his career high. Sears, the spin. Another pretty take and finish. Because I can spin too. That's 17 for Sears. Getting busy in here, Was. That's a lot of Z's right there. <laughs> 15 on the shot clock. A lot of noise from the Falcon faithful. Down to six, Curtis stripped by Brown. And then a reach in. For Bowling Green, that's their 17 fouls. Another Bobcats, a one and one. And Curtis didn't like the call, but that little reach just opens the yep. door here for the Bobcats to get back into this game a little bit without any time coming off the clock. You're about 80% going to get that call every time. If you have a mistake and then you immediately reach after you lose the ball, it's just going to happen. Vanderplas goes and gets it at midcourt. Sears, three, back rim. Ohio is 10 of 34 from three. They are getting the opportunities. They just cannot hit the broadside of a Stroh Center, Brad. Nearing the two-minute mark. Gulachkowskis, three. Front rim, battle for the board. Schmack comes out of there with it. And last touch by Fulcher. If that three goes down, the roof goes off. <laughs> I might have been passed out for the rest of the game. <laughs> I'm hanging on by a thread right now. We know how to fix that. Sears in the paint. Out to Roderick. He's hit from there before. He does it again. Back to a one possession. Keep Ohio on their heels. No quick shots. Curtis with it. He'll get the high screen. Over to Plowden. Looks inside. Now puts it on the floor. Spins. Goes off glass. What a finish. See how the Bobcats answer. Sears might pull the trigger. He's going one-on-one. -on -one. In the lane, scoops it up. No. Loose basketball. Ohio ball. And the officials are going to go look at it. Sears. Now Brown back to Sears. That hesitation, tried to go off glass, tipped out, Plowden's got it. And Ohio trying to trap, forced a turnover. Out to midcourt, Roderick near steal. Curtis up ahead, all alone is Kulachkowskis. A lot The two-hand slam for a new career Ooh. high. Roderick three, no. And was that tipped off Bowling Green last? Yes, it was. Vanderplas, I thought he tipped it off. Into Sears. Bobcats got to work quickly. Out to Schmack. Deep three, no. It is not. Bob 
Bobcats picking up full court with 41 seconds left. Plowden on the inbounds. Finds Curtis. And Brown the reach in. Bowling Green can put this game away at the line. Falcons 16 of 21 of the charity stripe tonight. Ohio just could not find a good rhythm offensively in the second half. Nothing falling for him. 37 threes attempted tonight. You got to credit the Falcons for coming out just as you know, Ohio came out physical. And the Falcons matched it. They matched it on defense. They matched it on offense. They took, took a few jabs and didn't falter. Nine-point game, less than 40 seconds. Leaving it for Vanderplas. High arcing shot, back rim. Sears' offensive rebound is hit, trying to pull it in. He's got a one and one. Bowling Green trying to pick up their ninth win at home this season. And close the home regular season schedule with a W. Sears, the right guy to have at the line, makes it an eight-point game, 90%. Second best behind Miami's Makai Larry. But Sears has shot about twice as many free throws as Larry has this season, maybe more than that. Yeah, so good at getting to the line. He's got 19 now on the night. Bowling Green at 5-13 and 13 in the MAC coming in here. Curtis, the effort there to try and keep it in bounds. Ohio basketball, 29 Ohio basketball. seconds. This pressure's not going away. Bowling Green's really got to make Ohio use some time here, though, to get a good shot. And Sears oh, is going to get a great time. look. You can't lose. You can't lose Mark Sears. Four-point game. He's got 22. Into Diggs. And Diggs is fouled. Sears was trying to pull it away before the foul. Then they got Roderick for the foul. No, it's called against Sears, and that's his fourth. Trey Diggs tonight, 12 points, six rebounds, pair of assists, and three steals. In and out. Door is still open for Ohio. When you come down, you can, they can get a bucket now. They don't have to get a three. They can get a bucket, make it a one-possession ball game. The lead is five. 25 seconds left. Here comes Sears. They don't need a three. Out to Brown. Hand in his face. Drains it. Two-point game. They don't need one, but they'll take one. Miles Brown, his first points of the game. Falcons are having trouble getting the ball in. And now they got to use. Falcons going to line up with all four bodies on the left side. Diggs inbounding. Here comes Fulcher, gets across the timeline and the reach in from Roderick with 11.8 remaining. That's a good design play. Get the ball and they had trouble for three, three straight possessions. And Fulcher tonight is one of one at the line. Can't hit the first. You need this one at least. Try and make Ohio at least have to hit a three. We've seen close ones here, BG Ohio. Justin Turner with that shot a couple of years ago. Falcons by three, 11.8. Bobcats do not have a timeout. Here's Sears behind the back. Sidestep three, no. Curtis the rebound, he's fouled with 4.1 left. He can wrap this one up with a free throw here. Well, Sears got the look. Maybe got a little hop step. Wasn't off by much. It looked good for my, it was right in front of me. It, it looked like it was on. Still, still not over. Samari Curtis, not the best free throw shooter for the Falcons. 14 points tonight. Gets it to drop, and that should do it. You'll take it any way you can get it. 
Second on the way. Bowling Green by five, four seconds left. Pull up for Sears. It goes. They'll count it as a two. 80 to 77.